Hey everybody, I'm Barrett and you're watching Black and McNuggets. Today I'm at Forest Ridge Park way up in North Raleigh. Um, I didn't even know about this park until someone told me about it recently. And uh, I showed up and they have a disc golf course here too. One of my other loves in life. Um, right behind me you can see one of the holes. It's a nine hole course here and uh, I was told the longest hole is about 420. So uh, it must be pretty good size. So I'm uh, anxious to look at that as well. So we're going to check out the single track mountain bike trails today. Um, I heard they were pretty nice and uh, so far this park looks like really well done and uh, it's really beautiful and they got a lot of stuff here. So really excited to see what the mountain bike trails look like here. We're right off Falls Lake so there's a big wooded area here um, not too far from the dam. So I can't wait to get started. I hope you enjoy the ride. Without further ado, let's get going. All right. All right, everybody. Forest Ridge Park. I just wanted to come up here and show you hole nine of this golf course. It's got a really nice tree here, and the basket sits under it, like like up in Burlington. But uh, it's not nearly as long, and. Uh, nine hole course so yeah we might have to come out and check that out someday um, I saw a sign that says mountain bike trails this way so we're just going in blind today here's hole eight this hole eight is a disc golf course About a yeah, 240, 250 foot stop down the road here. And it looks like the mountain bike trail, at least one of them, starts right here. So let's go. Are you excited? I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of nervous because uh, not being a mountain bike aficionado. I don't know what to expect <laughs> and uh, so we'll see I tell you what already though the trails are much more prominent than yesterday over at Green Hills Park I'm still gonna take it slow I want to be able to talk and not just be breathing you know but you can see the trail here a lot better and uh, Already I can tell you can carry a lot better, a lot more speed. And tight gaps. They don't have the tight tree gaps like that other place. So. Alright. So far so good. This is day two of a single track exploration. Because my uh, road bike is in the shop I'm actually shopping for some new wheels because I keep breaking spokes on that mob and uh, I got stranded three days ago when it was freezing cold I got stranded five miles from my car and the sun was going down and it was windy as crazy like crazy it was not cool let's take the main loop so instead of paying to keep getting spokes replaced and wheel trued every time I think I'm just, just looking to getting some stronger wheels I really don't know what to get but anyway that's why we're on the mountain bike and filming with the GoPro Hero 8 today because I broke the screen on my Hero 9 and I had to send that back as well to get replaced so <laughs> luckily I had some backup equipment and uh, I've been wanting to come out and do this kind of stuff anyway so but so far man these trails are cool Up to 
fun than yesterday. I think yesterday it was just like those trails aren't used as often, so there's a lot of leaves and pine straw that slip on. And when you use grip, it kind of makes it a lot more treacherous. I guess more like riding in the mud, kind of slickery mud. But uh, yeah, this is cool. I'm starting to wonder if, like, maybe I'm going downhill. <laughs> And then like the hard part is gonna come when I have to go back up. But uh, either way, we're having fun. We're out in the woods. Oh, I just got a glimpse of Falls Lake in the distance there. I know on the wide angle, you might not be able to see it. Oh, there's a bunch of rocks. You know, I could probably do this, but uh, I am inexperienced and alone in the woods, so I'm going to take it easy on these obstacles. I don't want to hurt myself. Maybe when I get a little more comfortable. Maybe if I get a little more comfortable on the bike, I can do some of these kinds of things. with me all right that probably makes it a lot more fun for experienced mountain bikers to have cool rocks like that and I like I said if I had a little more speed I could probably carry those but here's a good shot of Falls Lake over here really pretty peaceful out here. Yeah, here we go. Some Falls Lake action. Scenic, very scenic area. Today than it was yesterday and uh, I think it's gonna get up to like 75 degrees today which is awesome because it was like 40 in the 40s and even in the 30s at night just a couple of days ago they say if you don't like the weather in North Carolina just wait a few minutes And they were right because the last two days have been beautiful and I think it's gonna be like this for a few more days and uh, after getting a little taste of freezing cold you really appreciate having a warm day that much more <laughs> all right here's the uphill part that I was referring to earlier because I was just coasting all through that but now we're pedaling, going up the hill. Still not too bad. Some people probably come really fast through here. You can definitely do it. But I'm not trying to impress anyone. I'm just trying to show you the trails and uh, not hurt myself. Man, this is really nice though. I'm really impressed with these trailers. Well done.
yeah i got this bike ma mainly to just cruise downtown so that i could like you know transition from street to sidewalks and cut throughs and everything without missing a beat so on the road bike you got to be careful so uh i figured eventually i'd get back on the trails with it i used to have a friend that rode with me all the time he moved away so i just stopped doing it probably better to have a partner or somebody um, in case you do crash you know get somebody that to help you or if you get stranded out here you know, somebody ride back to the car or whatever get help if they need it buddy system but I'm the only one that doesn't have anything to do during the day <laughs> but make vitrios all my friends are responsible adults and have jobs and whatnot I chose a little different path Falls Lake views. Man, it's pretty. This is a great trail. Oh, there's a big old rock. I just gotta stop being timid on them things. Just go over them. Just not exactly sure how my bike handles very much yet. <laughs> not enough, quite enough experience on it. But we'll get there. I am a beginner mountain biker. So if you're an experienced mountain biker, feel free to laugh. I won't hold it against you. But you don't have to, don't leave any hateful comments. Because <laughs> I'm just cruising on the trail. I'm not trying to be cool. <laughs> just trying to have fun. And this is fun, man. This is great. This kind of trail takes a lot of work and a lot of riding. to get it smooth like this and it's brilliant I love it it's easy enough for a beginner and uh, probably fun for more advanced riders because they can go faster and just push themselves you know they got obstacles they want got a, a full suspension bike you could probably really tear it through here I've got a hardtail giant talon 29 inch wheels I always wanted a 29er I love the big wheels it just feels good they roll over everything Yeah, it's nice being able to just roll through kind of stuff like this and not used to it, you know. On the road bike, I keep breaking spokes just riding down the Greenway, which I haven't figured out what's going on with that yet. Hit like a pothole or something and your wheel goes broke. And then you're stranded. Tell you what, if 
I have no idea where I'm at in the woods. We just keep going. <laughs> it's great. And but if I were to break down, I'd have to walk all the way back down the trail because I have no idea which direction we're going. I guess I could tell by the lake. There's a landmark, big landmark. So walk away from the lake. <laughs> This is really long though. Nice. I didn't turn my Strava on to keep up with the distances and stuff, but oh well. Looks like they took a leaf blower and blew the leaves off the trail. Is that possible? And there's an invention. Rig a mountain bike with a leaf blower on front. You blow off your trail when you ride through. I can't imagine they came and blew leaves off the whole thing, but there's leaves everywhere except for on the trail. I hear like a, the waves on the shore down there. I thought it was a waterfall, but it was the waves on the down the little beach down there. It sounded like a waterfall. But like right in here, look how many leaves are on the sides. And then in the middle, there's like nothing on us. I guess if enough people ride, it keeps them off. This is a big loop, man. I'm digging it. Like sugar smacks. It'd be really good if I could get behind someone and watch them ride the trail for a video. If I could keep up with them, that is. <laughs> I'll have to find an experienced mountain biker to come do a video with me. This trail's so long, I'm running out of stuff to say. So let's just take it all in, listen to the nature and the bumps. As soon as you get off the trail, those leaves are slick. It's definitely a different kind of workout than riding a road bike. There's a lot more technical aspects. You gotta pay attention the whole time. And uh, yeah, more arms, a lot more going on, that's for sure. Wow, this is a long trail. 
I kind of wish I had turned my Strava on just to see how long this thing really is. Oh, it's a deer. I just scared a deer away. Okay, little buddies, just passing through. I walked out the door without my water bottle. Went through all the trouble to fix up a good beverage and left it sitting on the table. Uh-oh. I wasn't going fast enough to get over this big root system. Got me breathing, that's for sure. I'm just cruising and still... Alright, main loop. I'm going straight. Extension loop, let's take this this way. We don't want to be done yet, do we? The sign was kind of confusing. It looked like this, this was the straight direction when it was actually the right turn direction, according to the sign, I think. I didn't look at it for long, so I might be mistaken on that one. I just caught a glimpse of it. I'm guessing it's for the more experienced riders. I'm glad I have shocks or I would have ate it right back there. get bogged down in these roots all right extension loop let's go I think we're going the wrong direction we will see This is a fun ride though, it's not, it's not too uh, scary I guess for me, it's not too much stuff that I can't you know, ride over, just a couple of things here and there. I think once I get more comfortable I can go a little faster and then actually feel like I can carry my momentum over some of these objects. to see how that I'm not getting any younger you know it's nice to have plans for the future but when you get older sometimes <laughs> sometimes the future is passing by I don't know what I'm trying to say really Just babbling while I'm riding. Yeah, one cool thing about filming my rides is I uh, 
it gives me a justifiable reason, at least to me, to talk to myself. Because at least there's somebody listening at some point. <laughs> but I'm just out here by myself talking to myself. If I was doing that normally, I would feel kind of weird. There's a berm. This is a fun loop. Everything so far is amazing here. Um, I've only ridden a few mountain bike trails in my lifetime, but this uh, is impressive. I feel like uh, a lot of people come here and ride because it's nice and clear and Uh, I can actually ride it so I'm really digging it I know I'm repeating myself but I'm more I feel like I'm more reiterating my point <laughs> instead of repeating myself yeah if it's a hot summer day you can just stop and take a little dip in the lake <laughs> Which nobody's probably ever done because <laughs> you get soaking wet and then have to ride the bike back to the parking lot. Extension loop is good length as well. It's extended. Squirrels even run across the path here. I know in the Greenway, they always go the opposite direction they expect. <laughs> or they run like right in front of you. It's like, just like that squirrel did. Yeah, so thanks to everybody who maintains this course. I mean this, I guess it's a course, but trail, I should say. There's gotta be, you know, a lot of limbs and stuff that come across. All right, that was the extension trail. Let me get out Oh, thank you. All right. McNuggets in the woods. Sure, the sign said this way. Oh, yeah, here's a sign coming up. Oh, Humpty Hump. Another Humpty Hump. Whew. All right, 
We're getting close, I think. Your civilization. Oh. All right, here's a sign that says to parking lot. Mountain bike trail's a little rougher on your butt. You got a hard tail. And your hands. I'm not used to the uh, these tile handlebar handlebars. They're great for uh, you know keeping control of the bike though. They're really wide. It took me a while to get used to them. Because my road bike handlebars are so thin. These are like double the width. But you have better leverage on the front wheel. And big old front wheel. So it's like, it's really cool. More like a dirt bike. I mean like a, you know, a motocross bike motorcycle what fun trail all right here we are the beginning and the end <laughs> That was great, I really enjoyed that. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the ride. I certainly did. Um, I'm definitely gonna come back here when I wanna ride some mountain bike trails because that was really fun. I'm actually gonna go back and do a second loop when I get done here. But uh, if you watch this far, you guys, bless your heart. And uh, come check out the disc golf course. But always remember, walking is for the birds, so get out there and ride your bike because it's awesome, right? <laughs> All right, until next time, you guys, we will see you again soon on Bike and McNuggets, and uh, hope you have a great day. All right, peace. <laughs>